I definitely believe in, in independent living as long as possible. We just can't balance the budget on health care. I'd say 20 years ago anyway, we were looking at all the things, thinking ahead to the boomers. We got into such a dire straits, you know, that it's been sitting, you know, pretty stagnant and going backwards for so many years that it got to this point. I am Christine Stone. I am a senior advocate with AERP and I have been for 23 years. I'm Donna Quinn. I've been a nurse in the geriatric field for approximately 31 years. Seniors are the most vulnerable people and that they're going to really uh, have some problems with all the cuts that are in the present budget. If the, Minnesota keeps cutting, which we've taken cuts for eight years, we can't pay our bills. Mm -hmm. And when the nursing homes can't pay their bills and make it, then they'll shut down. And the more shut down and the population of geriatrics gets more, there's no place for them to go. Yeah. Plus, because the states cut group homes, mental retardation, mm -hmm. autistic, you know, vulnerable mm -hmm. ad uh, adults, alcohol, mental health, they've cut all that. So they're all wandering into the nursing home now. The care centers that I've visited, and I've visited a lot of them the last few years, that uh, they, um, they do a wonderful job, but they uh, could use more help, and they could be able to pay their help better. I think in 10 years, nursing homes are gonna be a thing of the past. You're gonna see very far, few ones even open. Mm -hmm. I think what's gonna happen is people are gonna go into group homes, and there's gonna be, we're gonna take care of each other. What would you think about a, bi a large home that houses 12 um, older people I, I and they hire one nurse and three nursing assistants? Mm -hmm. I think it would be a great idea. They have and tried that. And keep them that. out of the nursing homes. Yeah. The Oregon, uh, Oregon is one of the ones that has done that. And it's worked and, out good? Yeah, and it's worked good for them. And they were the ones that did the adult foster homes too. So there are a lot of things that we can do and we're going to have to do with our growing population. Mm -hmm. By 2020, we, we hope to have all these things going. And it seems like in, I'd say, the last 10 years, we've been going backwards on that. And if we help for the cuts, it's going to be bad. Our nursing home does the best job they can, but you only can work with what you got. I came through the Great Depression as a child. Yep. And there's a mentality in our mind that we want to be independent. We want to pay our own way. We want to save enough money to pay our way. You know, we don't want, we don't want help. And, and it isn't possible, of course, now. This older generation has so much integrity, they yeah. still have that mm -hmm. spirit, and I think that's yeah. fabulous. It matters a lot, too. When I get older like that, I, if there'll be, I don't think there'll be any money like that in my bank account to pay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's Unlike uh, these guys, tough you know. Economy, yeah. I don't know. The, the state of Minnesota's got to stop balancing their budget on the backs of senior citizens, though. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, there could be some serious devastation. There, there certainly will be. Yeah. Uh, I agree.